so hi everyone google has just released willow which is a quantum computing chip which is set to be 10 raised to power 30 times faster than the fastest supercomputer so this can be taken as the biggest release of the year and i would say it can even be bigger than chat gpt's inception because now quantum computing advancement can take any field uh, miles ahead in terms of research so we will be talking about a little bit about the different aspects of Willow. I think the audience is a little new to quantum computing and you might be thinking why on data science in your pocket we are uh, covering quantum computing. But trust me on this, this is related to everyone and the biggest advancement that you would see would be in the data science field because of Willow. So let's get started. So don't worry if you don't know about uh, quantum computing, I will try to wrap up uh, in base like why quantum computing is important and what are the different aspects we would be talking in the terms of Willow. So the tweet that Mr. Pichai did yesterday included this particular phrase, Google Willow takes five minutes to solve a problem that currently the world's fastest supercomputer that is Frontier takes about 10 septillion years. Oh my God, what a revolution. So if you are new to quantum computing, let me tell you why quantum computing is so important. So exponential speed up. If quantum computers come into the place, they will make any computation exponentially faster, making them capable of tackling complex tasks that would be taking thousands of years by a normal computer. Hence, it helps in advanced problem solving in some research fields like optimization, drug discovery, cryptography, etc. Any day, if you might have guessed it, such a quantum computing advancement will help in handling big data as well and will lead to new innovative algorithms also. Some potential industry revolution you would be seeing that requires heavy research like logistic optimization, material science, AI that includes generative AI as well. So you might be hearing that certain LLMs require months and months of fine tuning and training. Now this can be reduced to just minutes. Just think of the time getting saved. Now talking about some key features of Willow, I think we would be using certain terms that you might not be able to get like qubit uh, coherence time that I would try to explain in brief. So qubit can be taken as a base unit of quantum computing that is getting used. Willow integrates 105 superconducting qubits which are essential for performing quant uh, quantum computation. A qubit count this refers to the number of quantum bits or qubits in a quantum computer. The number of qubits in a quantum computer is often used as a measure of its potential computational capabilities. So higher the number, more capable is the system to perform more complex tasks. This number has been increased to 105 now in the latest chip re release. Error correction. One of the issues, one of the major issues when I was reading about quantum computing is about error correction. Because this is a problem that the researchers are trying to tackle from last 30 years. Just think about it. So quantum error correction is a set of techniques used in quantum computing to protect quantum information from errors caused by noise. This is one of the most challenging problems, but now it, uh, it has achieved exponential error correction because of increase in the qubit count. You can read a little more about these terminologies, but I will just try to give a brief. Advanced coherence time. The qubits in Willow boost unprecedented coherence time, nearly five times better than the previous design. So what is a coherence time? Longer coherence time enable more complex computation and reduces frequency of error. So it is improving on the error as well and it enables more complex computation as well. Here you can see that what is the coherence time? It refers to duration for which a qubit that is the base unit of quantum computing maintains its quantum state allowing it to perform calculation. It can be taken in a sort of a lifespan of a qubit. So the longer the lifespan, the more it can go for complex problems as easy as that. Applications, I think there are multiple applications that we have talked about and scalability. The architecture of Willow allows for scalability in qubit integration, which is vital for building larger and more powerful quantum systems. So this might not be just the end, it is just the beginning. Uh, if we go for more scalability, I think the number should re get reduced to seconds also. So this is one of the uh, diagrams that the team has shared, the graph. So these are the previous advancements made by Google in quantum computing. Just follow this uh, blue diagram, this blue triangle. So you will see that this is the comparison with years in exascale supercomputer. So earlier this was 10 to power minus 2, 10 to power minus 5. So this is the 
years taken by exascale exascale is a type of supercomputer and now this is the time taken by the google chips so now you can see what a jump you have seen the green one is for google below which is now the time taken by exascale supercomputer is 10 raised to power 10 years which now google below is doing in seconds this is just amazing and if you see the growth pattern it started all in 2020 and within five years what a hit google has achieved this is just unimaginable as you can see uh, the y-axis this is the y-axis represents the time in years required for exascale supercomputer to solve a problem shows the timeline for quantum chip development the x-axis now as i already showed you it has improved massively from its last counterpart that is uh, Saika Moore, which used so the years in exascale supercomputer was 10 raised to power minus 2 now it is 10 raised to power 10 what an improvement so like concluding this google willow is a major step forward in quantum computing i think we are not much into quantum computing right now uh, because quantum computing counter computers are not that easily accessible but this is a huge leap forward and we should now see some more advanced research coming very fast as we are seeing in generative AI as well because our major challenge with research is basically computation and now this looks to be resolved for a huge portion of problems now i hope you read more about google below and a little bit about quantum computing as well because this should be the future thank you so much